Aloha from the Big Island of Hawaii, Michelle Melendez, and I want to talk about what is a woman, because it seems like our judges are confused about or don't know what a woman is and can't actually identify what a woman is. So I want to tell you what a woman is. A woman is a female per, who is born and in, in birthed out um, of her mother's body, and she has two X chromosomes, one from her m father and one from her mother. A male who uh, is born has an X and a Y chromosome, the X from, her mo from his mother and the Y from his father. Uh, a female has more estrogen than testosterone and vice versa for the male. The female, her body knew how to create a vagina and a clitoris and the male's body when it was being formed in the mother's womb knew how to create a penis inside the mother's womb. So the body naturally knows, okay, this woman, this female body, X and X chromosomes, this is what I need to create for this female's body, and this is what I need to create on this chromosomes of X and Y uh, body. So um, when a man chooses, like there, there are some judges that say, you know, uh, a woman can get pregnant and a man can get pregnant. No, the man cannot get pregnant. What he can do or have happened to him is something that is injected, you know, a fetus uh, injected into his body. And I don't even know if this is really possible. I've never, I haven't researched this, but if he does uh, have a, a fetus in his body, that's not natural. That doesn't happen naturally. He can't get pregnant by natural means. That is impossible. Uh, also, um, if a man chooses to have uh, his penis cut off and he has something that looks like a vagina made, he doesn't have a clitoris. He cannot have an orgasm uh, sexually. He cannot be um, uh, getting pregnant by having sex with a, another, another man, even though he's got what looks like a vagina. He does not have eggs. It's not possible. It's actually impossible. So if a man wants to be a transgender and turn his body into a woman that's, that looks like a woman, that's fine. You know, he's got, everybody's got their own choice to, to do whatever they want to do with their chosen vessel that has, is the host of their spirit, that um, they, they have that choice. Uh, and, and that's not any of my business, that's their kuleana, that's perfect, whatever. But when judges and educational people say they do not know what a woman is, they need to be disbarred. They need to be fired because that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. And so women, honor yourselves and walk proud and know what you are. You are a gift from God. Your body was created. It knew exactly everything you that needed to be formed in order for you to be birthed and come into the world as a female, as a woman, and then, and then be, be uh, brought up and, and grown into a woman's body. So I just want to honor all women and all men. And if women want to turn their bodies into a man, which uh, I actually gave a donation to a friend of mine who, who did just that, was a born in a woman's body and transgender change into a man's body. And he is a beautiful, beautiful man. Um, and that's fine. You do what you want to do. But please do not think that you don't know what the difference between a woman and a man, and anybody especially in the professional field that says they do not know what a woman or a man is, they should be, if they're in the educational field or medical field or justice field, they need to be let go so that they can go and do some research for themselves to discover really the understanding of what it is to be human in an actual female body and uh, yeah. So that's my two cents on that, and I hope you guys all have a great day, and may the light and love of the infinite source, which is all around us, uh, be with you today and always. Much aloha.